you a little trick I use on these decks. Sometimes you have to take the pulley off to get the spindle off. Okay, well, that, that's no biggie. What I have here are three pieces of scrap, uh, two by four treated, and I've had them for probably five or six years, and I've cut them to these sizes because it seems to me that these sizes will allow me to uh, take these pulleys off easy. What I've done is I'll take them and I'll wedge them in here or I'll wedge them at an angle and as it rolls around then it'll bind up and I can take the uh, nut off the top of the pulley. So that is another little trick I have to get these guys off easier rather than sometimes you have to end up uh, I have ratchet strapped these guys to uh, posts and uh, pulled them off. So, now, I'll show you more to come. Okay, guys. I'll show you. It's kind of hard without a tripod. I've got a tripod, but this camera uh, doesn't have a tripod mount anymore. So I broke it and I wrecked. So, you see how it's wedged in place, and I just popped it loose. And let's see, I'll back you out. And you apply pressure, and that breaks the bolt. And you can take this guy off completely. So, just a couple of pieces of scrap lumber that I keep. There we go. Now, now we're coming in. People will say, Well, how do you get the. Uh, blade bolt off well see that's a little piece of wood right there I'm gonna put the uh, 15 16 on there and unbolt it more to come yeah. we're back we're gonna take these bolts off to get that spindle off completely this is gonna be half inch and you see I have a cheater bar just to make it easier on me so I'm gonna pop this guy off go all the way around then we'll have him out. We'll take a look at the inside of it just for the heck of it. Interesting to note, the star is not eaten up. The top of the pulley just wore out. Hmm. All right, guys, more to come. We're back. Got this guy off. You see? Hmm. We are missing one, two, three, four, five five or six bearings ball bearings this has a uh, ball bearings not just roller elements it's got ball bearings and you can kind of see a little bit of metal down in there so they were eaten out and this guy just got worn out That's pretty much all it is it's a shame because I did not break any of the ears on this thing taking it out that is crazy normally I'll break two so Oh well, it's a boat anchor now. Now we're going to put the other one on real quick. Yeah. More to come. We are bolting the spindle on. Bear in mind, we're having to make threads as we're going. So, we're lubing, turning, backing off, turning on, backing off, turning on, taking out a little bolt, cleaning it out a little bit, doing it all the way through because if we screw it up, we eat the 80 bucks. That's just the way it is. So, get this thing on there and get it on there. Level, plumb, straight, square, whatever you want to call it. Good would be a nice word uh, to where it'll work without tearing up one of these ears. So, we're just going to work these bolts in. And like I said, sorry, I don't have a tripod that'll uh, hold this camera anymore. So, more to come, guys. Okay, guys got that back on those went in no problem just kind of worked them in slowly and you know make sure I kept them clean and sprayed them and had them straight and we're going to use another one of these wooden blocks that I have we're going to tighten this guy up and we're going to be done we're going to let these things sit I did put a little silicone around these guys just to uh, make sure it'll keep them tight just because we're back that is it this is the finished product these are uh, these bearings are a 
closed bearings, sealed bearings rather. So there is no lubrication on these. Uh, for the life of the bearing, it has enough lubricant in it to uh, last the life. That's what they tell me anyway. It's on there, it's on there tight. Blades are sharpened up. Can't beat it. We're back. That's okay. it. I'm gonna end the video here. May break this guy down into two parts because it may have ran kind of long. There's the extra part. I always leave it on the mower. Um, that way they'll have it to look at. People like to hold something in their hands uh, when they pick up their mowers. This thing's finished. It should do fine unless he hits another stump. And let's all hope he don't. We're good. We're finished. Thanks for watching, guys. Wasn't the video I wanted to do. I wanted to do the video of us uh, putting the belt on kudzu because uh, we still got to get that squared away. Who the hell knows, though? Hopefully tomorrow we'll have that thing fixed uh, to where we can ride it. Because I am very curious to see how that six-inch pulley does on the front, going from four to six. That'll be pretty fun. I love my life insurance too, guys. If there's anybody that you know that you hate, send this video to them. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, remember: comment, rate, subscribe. Y'all gonna make some mayhem.